All right, everyone. Hello. Now, mere moments <laughs> after reacting to the fall of Cadia over at the uh, the something institute, I already forgot. Template, the Templin Institute? I think it was the Templin Institute. Yeah. We're over here with the cheeky yeah. bastard known as Major Kill. Yeah. And his fucking nice ass jacket, by the way. It's very, very nice. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to react to the months of shame explained by an Australian, by the cheeky bastard known as Major Kill. Yes. Let's get into it, as my friend here. <laughs> Gal, we all have something that we are ashamed of. For some people, it's I cheating a partner. For others, it's not being able to achieve yeah. erections during intimacy due to crippling addiction to orgy porn. And for <laughs> me, it's when I there. got caught masturbating during an African safari 10 years ago. <laughs> He said, he, said, uh, he said I was a weird kid, all right. <laughs> at, least, at least you haven't been caught masturbating some of the places I've been caught masturbating, bro. <laughs> In solidarity, my guy. <laughs> and the Inquisition for engaging in a full-blown civil war as a result of a petty man with a small dick. The months of shame are bad. Space wolves killing Grey Knights, Inquisitors destroying entire Imperial worlds on a whim, and Fenris almost getting exterminated. Shit was wild and very entertaining. Now, I know these past couple <laughs> days, with GW going ham with its IP enforcement and shitting on the community, and then the community initiating a cheeky boycott as a result of that. So I thought a bit of good old fashioned law injected straight into your cranium via my illiterate articulation of Warhammer storytelling would be good. <laughs> For those that are interested though, I'm currently working with a few other content creators in the community to try getting contact Gosh. with them and see what they're actually doing. Early signs are promising. So sit back, twirl your neckbeard, and get ready to listen to what happens when a bunch of wanky inquisitors try and fuck with the Spets Wolves. Spoilers, the Inquisition has a really bad time. Let's get into it. <laughs> As they yeah. The Inquisition is the Imperium's fuck the Inquisition. big gaping asshole. <laughs> Don't want to look at him, touch him, or get shit on by him. But without them, the Imperium would get so full of shit that eventually it would die. As such, the Inquisition is basically unlimited resources and influence, able to twist around Just like an asshole. the Imperium to its desires. Space Marines are one of the few types of people who don't have to suck an Inquisitor's dick every five minutes, but even then, there are thousands of Space Marines in the Inquisition's Death Watch, and the Celestial Lions were wiped out by the Inquisition because they tried to file a complaint. The point <laughs> I'm making is you just don't want to make The complaint department? <laughs> yes. <laughs> but like oh my god can you imagine if every complaint department that was their policy there would be so very very few complaints well <laughs> every every complaint would look like would look like yes i'd like to lodge a complaint actually <laughs> <laughs> that's what every complaint would look like <laughs> these guys. The Space Wolves, on the other hand, give no shits and only look up to their lost Primarch and their vegetabilized Emperor. They do <laughs> what they want and they get away with it because they're so damn effective. Like these guys have beaten Magnus and his thousand sons a number of times. Generally, it takes like multiple Space Marine chapters as well as Grey Knights to achieve something like that, but the Space Wolves have straight up done it more than once by themselves. The point I'm trying to make here is that we have an unstoppable force going up against an immovable object. So what causes conflict? Well, on the planet of Armageddon, there was Armageddon. Angron, he's <laughs> no. his world eaters and millions of cultists attacked. Logan Grimnar, the legendary chapter master of the Space Wolves, was like, hmm, shit, maybe we should call for backup this time. <laughs> Made it bashing up nerds, and despite Angron's status as a walking abortion, he was definitely. <laughs> My <not> God! <laughs> and an epic battle took place in which a shitload of Cornite followers died, and Angron was banished. If there's one thing Major Kill hates, <gasps> fucking Angron, man. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, Angron and Abaddon. If yes, there's yes. two characters he hates, it's those two fuckers. <laughs> well, I mean. Can you blame him though, really? No, he makes a very compelling argument. <laughs> <laughs> After getting 
getting hadouken by the Grey Knights. So yeah, all seemed well until it fucking didn't. See, the Inquisition is very hush hush about the fact that demons are a thing, and half of the Emperor's sons are demonic as shit. They are also very hush hush about the existence of Grey Knights for some unspecified reason. I don't really understand their logic behind it. Just because people know hell exists doesn't mean they're going to be like, oh fuck yeah, and want to go there. No, no. But then, you know, there are those fuckers understanding what they're getting themselves into so if they <laughs> educated people on how well see i think i think here in real life caitlin i think yeah. you'd have a lot fewer of those fuckers if there were literal demons like visibly walking around doing the shit demons actually do yeah like, the number would drop from one in ten edge lord millennials who are like, "Oh, daddy Satan, you fucking idiots!" Right? Yeah. And like one in ten million. <laughs> right. You you would think. You would certainly fucking hope. <laughs> How to avoid eternal soul rape? I think they would actually get a good response. But yeah, as someone living on Armageddon, there was a chance you would just witness demons and grey knights at the same time. The space was, however, were not down with sterilizing, murdering, or sending the very warriors that fought by their side to concentration camps. Yep. Logan even made a point of keeping the civilians away from the battle zones so they wouldn't see what was going on. This wasn't good enough for the Inquisition, though, and they began a little operation. The space was outnumbered and outgunned on the ground, but they had a bigger and better fleet, so they planned to help the people board ships and escape from the system. The first escape transport was destroyed by the Inquisition, and with it, 400,000 people died. The Space Wolves then got the rest of the escape transports to leave at the same time, and they used their own ships to body block. Even so, the Inquisition was ready to fire on them until even more Space Wolf ships arrived in system. Seeing that any aggression towards the Wolves would result in them getting doggied, the Inquisition backed down <laughs> through the warp. The Wolves thought that was the end of it, but boy oh boy, were they wrong. The Lord Inquisitor, who was basically the one in charge, was called Kisneros, and he was a massive dick. Kisneros? <laughs> Why does that name sound so amazingly familiar to kiss ass? <laughs> Gee, I wonder. Or it's, a, um, or it's an anagram for kiss my ass. <laughs> After his losses, he decided to go ahead and purge every planet that any of the refugees had visited or moved to. A number of very well-established and loyalist imperial worlds were exterminatus purely for the fact that one of the refugee ships stopped there to refuel. The Space Wolves continued to help the ships escape, whilst the Inquisition began getting more and more desperate, even attacking and killing a number of Space Wolves. Eventually, some members of the Inquisition and the Grey Knights began to be like, Please Wait, tell me this guy this dies. This is fucking retarded. Let's stop. Grey Knights were made to fight demons and protect humanity, not nuke innocent Imperial worlds and kill loyalist space marines. This was made worse by the fact that the Space Wolves never fired back, so it was obvious that the Inquisition were the assholes here. The name Months of Shame was actually coined by the Grey Knights who were feeling shameful for what was happening. The most confusing part is that the Lord Inquisitor Kisneros was completely unknown to everyone. He had no retinue or friends, no known connections to the Inquisition, and he wasn't even part of any of their known inquisitorial factions, yet he had extreme power and influence. It was very odd. Eventually, yeah. the Inquisition knew that they could not just blow up every planet in the Imperium to contain the oh. army of the so they What I'm hearing is he went rogue? Kisneros was an egomaniac, and he wished to see Logan on his knees begging for mercy for the humiliation they had been dealt. The present Grey Knight leader, Grandmaster Joros, hatched a plan with Kisneros. They invited the Space Wolves to have a treaty and chat about how to sort their shit out. Logan agreed. However, as soon as the Space Wolves arrived to the parlay, the Inquisition opened fire and blew up a bunch of their ships and killed quite a few of them. They then demanded Logan come to them and surrender. All in all, a very scummy move. Logan complied. Not with the surrender part, no. No chance that was happening. He did come aboard though, and he demanded to know who ordered the betrayal of the treaty. Grandmaster Joris admitted it was his idea. Within an instant, Logan liberated the Grey Knights of their commander's life, whilst his wolf guard killed another four Grey Knights who attempted to prevent them from teleporting back to their ship. Yeah, look, the peace treaty probably could have gone a bit better. Post that finale, <laughs> the conflict became a war as the Space Wolves began firing back on inquisitorial forces, destroying a number of ships and killing a shitload of Grey Knights. At this point, 
Billions of people had been exterminatus, with hundreds of space wolves and grey knights lying dead. Angron's attack on Armageddon had such a big impact that you would think it was Titsnitch who was the mastermind behind it. Like, 10 times more damage was done by the Inquisition than by Angron. Eventually, Kisnor submitted that the containment had been a failure. No shit. No. And now to humble the space wolves and show them who was boss. The inquisitorial forces had happen. also reached the no. point. Numerous inquisitors and grey knights were planning on assassinating Kisneros to end the war before it even got worse. Shit was wild. Kisneros ordered his entire fleet, which was now bolstered by the Red Hunter's space marines, who for whatever reason loved the taste of inquisitor cock, <laughs> and forces him to the Inquisition arrived and immediately began bombing the Fang, causing a ton of damage. Mm -hmm. Honestly, so far, Kisnos has done more damage to the Space Wolves than Magnus and Angron combined. This either shows the power of the Inquisition or the patheticness of the traitor Primarchs. The planet was mostly undefended and Logan wasn't there, but Bjorn the Fell Handed agreed to meet with the Inquisition to try sort it out. Once again, Kisneros made insulting demands. The Space Wolves must bow before the Inquisition and take a penitent crusade or suffer. Bjorn was like, I get fucked, ya wee laddie. We ain't your lapdogs, you stifling wanker. Before the Inquisition could react, Logan made you kill, look, man. That's my people you're imitating. Your accent needs work. <laughs> just, just a tad. Just, 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 you're being too nice. <laughs> Teleport onto bad the by like a bit like a lot and boy oh boy that was fucking bad news for them in his rage logan was able to sprint in terminator armor which was thought to be impossible as he sliced through gray knights and inquisitors like they were nothing Facts. he soon reached kisneros and with one slash parted the fool's head from his body logan Good. was then able to kill every single gray knight and inquisitor in his system <laughs> no one was able to reach logan and say logan you hairy fuck Chill out, my brother. We can sort this mess. Hence, the battle stopped. A truce was reached, and that the Inquisition could no longer go near Space Wolf worlds. The Grey Knights had to basically apologize to the Space Wolves, and they had to explain who they are and why they exist. In return, nothing. The Space Wolves gave the Inquisition nothing except the opportunity to leave with their lives intact. Hence, yep. ended the months we of do. shame. The thing I like about this bit of lore is the fact that Kisneros, as far as I can tell, wasn't an agent of chaos or the changeling or a shape-shifting Xeno. He was just a dick. The Grey Knights and other Inquisitors can spot corruption, even the most subtle of it, instantly. The authority to kill 10 billion innocent Imperial citizens, blow up peaceful worlds, attack and kill hundreds of space wolves, and then bomb their homeworld was all his genuine authority. There is a lot of mystery as to where this authority came from, but it's clear it came from the highest levels of the Inquisition. So far, the plot hasn't really gone on to delve into any conspiracy theory surrounding this, but it's very interesting nonetheless. What is the moral of the story here? Well, it's obvious. If you've just succeeded in banishing the demonic form of one of the most powerful beings in the galaxy, don't become, <coughs> don't become Space Hitler. Yep, yep. The moral of the story. If you enjoyed the video and you want to support the channel, then Patreon oh, is for only one dollar per month. Give you access uh, to a boatload of hentai. I'd support her Patreon. Has nothing to do with yes. one. Hit the subscribe button, then hit the real subscribe button for more anti space Hitler content. Join the Discord. Oh, for hashtag fuck space one. Hitler. Peace. Exactly. Oh man. So, so verdict is either that dude was a puppet from someone secretly pulling his strings or he just got a wild hair up his ass and went rogue went went major maximum egomaniac either way i am so glad my only regret is that his death yeah. was not slower and more painful <laughs> yeah that's true it's like you should have had your like your limbs rent from your body right that's if i was that space wolf i would have like fucking buried my axe in the ice be beside him fucking grabbed his legs and started tearing from the groin up <laughs> that's what i would have done <laughs> <laughs> i would have looked into his eyes as i was crushing his femurs in my grip and i would have said never should have fucking came here <laughs> something to that effect yeah. god i fucking hate the inquisition yeah. space wolves equals best wolf <laughs> Exactly. God. Man. Can you imagine 
if the if the fucking forces of the Imperium would just mm-hmm. stop dick measuring contests with each other and yeah. all of them actually completely focused on non-human threats. Mm-hmm. So goddamn, so goddamn. So everyone, Team Adventurous, we'll see you this weekend for Emperor Speech Text uh, Second Watch Party. Bring something yes. to drink. Yep. We're fucking drunk, because that's how we do it <laughs> over here at Team Adventurous. It will be a drinking game. It will be. And, and the game is, of course, that we're drinking. <laughs> 